So the Windows 11 25 H2 is now officially released. So to get this, you can just simply go to Windows Update and check for update, but make sure that this thing is enabled get the latest updates as soon as they are available. Once you enable this and check for update, you should see a Windows 11 25 H2 update. You can just click it and install it. And most of you guys, I think already know this, that the Windows 11 25 H2 is actually a small update, very tiny update if you're already on the Windows 11 24 H2. It's basically based on 24H2 and all the new features that are coming in 25H2 are already baked into the 24H2. So you get the tiny update and enable the new features of 25H2 and change the version name. And guess what? There aren't actually many new features in 25H2. So it doesn't matter whether you stay on 24H2 or upgrade to 25H2. I recommend you guys to upgrade to 25H2 when it's available in the Windows update. And Microsoft also posted this blog uh, on how to get the Windows 11 25 H2 update. So if you're interested, you can read this, but again, it's basically a 24 H2. And yes, the Windows 11 25 H2 ISO file is now also available. So you can use this to reinstall or clean install the Windows 11 25 H2 if you want to, or you can also upgrade to Windows 11 25 H2 using the ISO file, which I don't recommend because it will take a lot of time. When you use ISO file to upgrade or do a clean install, it takes time. So if you're already on 24H2, just wait for the update to appear on Windows Update. And this is a slow rollout. That means it's not going to appear on everyone's computer as soon as you check for updates. So if you want the quick and easy update, just wait for it to appear on the Windows update. Yes, I also didn't get the Windows 11 25 H2 update in the Windows update. If I don't get the update in coming couple of weeks, maybe I'll just use the ISO to upgrade. <laughs> but again, I recommend you guys to just wait for it to appear on the Windows update if you're already on the 24H2 because it will be quick and easy update. But if you wish to waste your time or you have the time to use ISO file, yeah, sure, go ahead, do it. Now, let's talk about the weirdest thing. So this is the official website here. You can use three different methods to get the 25H2 ISO file. So you can just go to the third option, select download Windows 11 multi edition ISO file confirm and then select the language and then 64 bit download just click on it I actually have already downloaded this and here is the weirdest part so most of you guys already know the Windows 11 20 5H2 is based on 24H2 and there aren't many new features it's basically a 24H2 it's changing the version name that's it but the Windows 11 25H2 ISO file is massive. It's 7.2 gigabytes compared to Windows 11 24H2. Yeah, it's massive. The 24H2 is only 5.4 gigabyte. It's actually smaller than the Windows 10 ISO file. And I recently made a video on Windows 11 25H2 preview ISO file, which was also 7.2 gigabytes. At that time, I thought that maybe it's not compressed well or something. And when the final release happens, it will be as small as the 24H2, which is 5.4 gigabytes. So it looks like that's not the case. Windows 11 25H2 is actually massive. At least the ISO file is massive. Again, there aren't many new features in 25H2. So I don't know where the almost two gigabytes of file is coming in 25H2. Maybe more bloat? Yeah, I have seen some of new apps uh, pre-installed when I was testing this. Uh, one was Microsoft Copilot 365 something, uh, which is not a regular uh, Copilot app. So yeah, maybe there are going to be a lot more uh, pre-installed apps in 25H2 if you do a clean install or upgrade. So that's another reason for you to just upgrade using the Windows update if you're already on the 
4H2. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.